Peggy 18. went through a, quite a process trying to figure out what the infected were going to be. A very big directive from the very beginning was they're not zombies. The early inception for it really came from uh, a BBC video we saw called Planet Earth, uh, where they were talking about a cordyceps fungus. As soon as we saw it, we were intrigued by the idea of what if it jumped to humans? In what interesting ways would it take over a human body and then force it to spread that infection? And we figured that the real evil in the game is the fungus. It's not the people. We want to see what kind of choices a human makes under that kind of pressure. Oh, there's him. Uh, so as we're trying to develop the look of the infected, um, we went through so many different iterations, some that looked really alien and subhuman, um, some that looked just essentially like zombies, uh, and we couldn't find like an original place for them. But one of our concept artists took a bunch of images of diseases or images of fungal overgrowth, uh, and he kind of mashed it all together and he threw it on this person. It was definitely very challenging to try to convert that 2D concept into 3D, getting kind of the feeling right from all different angles. This isn't some decaying corpse on the ground, this is a living thing that's going to be coming after you in the world. And it seems so creepy and so unique. Right away we're gravitated towards it and it's like, this is our base infected, everything should kind of come out of this look. They use a form of echolocation to track down their enemies. Uh, just like bats or even some blind people can see by making a clicking sound. They're like, oh, what if they make this sound uh, and now they can see in the dark? sound that on its own wouldn't be very scary. And then to associate it with something that people in this world are very fearful of, so that as you're exploring an environment, all of a sudden you hear this click and you're seeing everybody just get frightened, just everybody duck, everybody hushes. When the infected feels like it's gonna die, it finds like a dark corner and it becomes part of the environment. The fungus grows out of there, and if the fungus lingers there long enough, then spores will come out, and if people can breathe those spores, they become infected as well. Pretty much everyone in this world has had one of their loved ones at least become the infected, so they lost someone this way. It's a pretty brutal fate if you know, you know, you're heading down that path, you've got some hard decisions to make. Yeesh. We actually made it. It's called luck and it's gonna run out.